Hello everybody, my name is James Elliott and I run Elliott Antique Clocks Limited and I also run the eBay shop, the Horology Centre. And today I'd like to show you this magnificent Grand Sonnery on Bells. Um, really rare bird here, not in the sense of it being a gorge case car um, Grand Sonnery on Bells, but more the fact of how early this clock is. Serial number, number 49. Uh, um, that's the uh, lowest number I've seen um, on a Grand Sonnery. That's Jacko's number. Um, it's stamped all over the clock. There we can see um, the underneath. Typical Jacko um, with the um, six screws, um, all original. Uh, dust cap for the different settings. Grand Sonnery, Petite Sonnery, Silent. There we can see the number, number 46, number 46. And we can also see, um, which you'll be able to see better on the photographs on the listing, number 46 on the bottom left hand corner. So um, everything corresponds. There's a uh, another serial number below the, the Robin um, signature, which is just here. I should really, just one moment. Which is just here. And then we've got another serial number at the bottom, which would have been um, Robolin's um, serial number. So you, when you see two serial numbers, you know there's another maker behind it. Um, so um, Jaco would have made the clock, um, sold it on to Robolin, um, who would then retailed it. And then look how tight that back door is. There's nowhere the clock is in absolutely excellent condition. There again on the case, the handle's not flopping around, it's all nice and tight. Press the repeat button, we can hear the bells. Which have a wonderful tone to them, they sound great. And we can see the movement's all been fully overhauled, cleaned, restored to the high, very high standard. As to is the case, uh, enamel dial is in perfect condition. And the glass panels are the same. Um, Breguet hands. We're set on um, Grand Sonnery at the moment. So let's turn the hands and listen to the clock striking. And then we can set it on Petite Sonnery. And then we can also hear it striking just on the quarters. They are marvellous those bells, they really do. So, we'll select the Petit Sonnery now. I beg your pardon. We are on silent. But then at least you can see that the silent setting is also working. There we are, now we're on Petite Sonnery. Now the clock will just do the quarters only. The case has got this really nice early gorge um, design where it's a, the proportions are a lot more prominent than they are on the later gorge cases. You can see the corners, how well fluted they are. They're really deep um, and they're very prominent. On the uh, later gorge cases, ones dated around 1880 onwards, um, they're not as well defined. Um, again, the fluted um, corners, really nicely done. It's just got a certain elegance about the case. 
that you um, that's slightly lacking in the later clocks. Let's wind the alarm, which is this here. So we can see all the functions are working exactly how they should. Let's pop it back onto Grand Sonnery, which is that way. Make sure we get the right one. And we'll just see how the clock strikes and really doesn't put a foot wrong at all. So the clock dates to circa 1860, 1870, um, which I wager is one of the earliest uh, Grand Sonnery gorge cases ever to come up on eBay. So it's a real rarity. I can't sort of stress more um, because at this point, they, when they were building clocks, they hadn't quite perfected the um, art of mass production. These clocks were still being very much handmade um, um, and therefore, um, this is why you get far less uh, less grand sonneries on bells than you do on gongs, because by the time gongs became in fashion, they'd really learned the art of mass production and they were really producing uh, a lot of these. Um, that can be really um, um, proven by the serial number, the fact that it is so low, because I've seen later clocks and the serial numbers go up to 19,000, and this is uh, 46. So, I mean, that really speaks for itself. Um, the case is in stunning condition. Um, there's no knocks or marks or anything like that. Um, let's have a look at the um, original escapement, um, which again indicates, I mean, look at that, how it looks in every single angle. It's, the case is just really very, I keep on saying it, but um, that's because it is. All the glass panels are original. Pop it here. There we have the original uh, silvered lever escapement. It's nice and large. Um, again, it's got that early pattern with the club tooth um, escape wheel. And we can see how health, healthy that is by the way it's running. It's ru really running particularly well. Timing's excellent. You get the timing within um, you know, a couple of minutes a, um, a week. It really is a super clock. If you went to um, a retailer to buy such a clock, um, you'd be dealing with um, at least 4,000. Oh, apologies there. 4,000 plus for, for a clock like this. Um, and that's because I do all my own work in my own workshop. I don't have any business rates or anything like that. This is how I'm able to uh, um, sell them at a discounted price because a lot of the time, most dealers, they're not clock makers. They're just dealers, and therefore they um, they'll pay um, a clockmaker to then restore the clock. Um, I'm obviously doing all that work myself, so I don't have that extra cost. Um, so that's how I can manage to bring you a clock that's um, um, restored to the same standard, if not higher, because I, I specialise in carriage clocks. It's all I do. It's all I sell. Um, I haven't um, restored um, a pendulum clock in over three years now um so it's just been purely carriage clocks um i've done eight bronze sonneries um in a row um once before and i don't think there are any clock makers that do that because when i was working in a commercial shop you you maybe work on a grand sonnery once a month um or two every six months um six weeks sorry so you know uh 
when you work on them as, as much as I do, you really get to know um, the ins and outs of them um, far more, say, than any somebody that will be a general clockmaker as opposed to a specialist like myself. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video um, on my fine early grand sonnery on bells. If you have any questions, any queries, please don't uh, hesitate to contact me. You'll find my email address and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye for now.